here on the field and great night for football i'm kenny wayne i'm here with sean king sean hey man how this are is you it. another beautiful thursday night here in the wonderful city of las vegas uh, pioneers versus the aggies aggies getting things fine-tuned as they go on their pursuit of a state championship starting next week we get to call some playoff games excited about that and you know the pioneers trying to finish the, the season out strong have had a lot of injuries you know, to some key guys, but, you know, Coach Quincy Burks, we call him Coach Q here, uh, he wants to finish out on a strong note, so he'd like nothing better than to upset the Arborview Aggies tonight. No doubt about it. Yeah, and it's hard, you know, when you're battling and scratching and clawing and, and you put so much time in, not to have your best guys is always difficult, but, you know, uh, Coach Dungey used to always say no excuses, no explanations. It's an opportunity for another player to step up and, and prove their value. I didn't realize it would be the first play. Kearns. Takes the handoff, hits a keeper, and Kearns is down the left side. A lot of way, he jukes one defender, a second defender, and Kearns will take it to the house. Touchdown. A 66-yard run by Kearns. How about that explosive running? And a phenomenal run by the Arborview quarterback to get the scoring started tonight. Great career after the Patriots with the Colts, but tonight's about the kids and Man, Michael Kearns, what a way to start the game. Wow. The the ju the two two really high on here for this Canyon Springs team. I like the fact there he didn't blink. No. He didn't blink, even though the ball wasn't handled properly. Down and fifteen. The quarterback. A swing pass, it's intercepted, and this will be a touchdown for Arborview. That's number twenty seven, Bryce Heckert with the there and he was a little inaccurate throwing the out route in the corner, end up catching it. But we do have a flag on the play, it looks like. Bryce Heckert stepped right into that for a pick six, but you're right, there is a flag. We're find out what the call is here. Yes. Come out in the National Football League. And I like the ball Tyshawn McCraney throws. It's got a real nice spiral on it. Um, he just made a misplay. Looks over the defense, takes the shotgun snap, steps up, pressured. He gets away from the pressure, and he will throw it, and it's complete. Out to the 45. This will be a first down for Canyon Springs. He's the sophomore quarterback. He's not afraid of contact. He's not panicking under pressure. Keeps his head up the field. Throws a catchable ball. Like, he does some really good things. He did some nice things on that play. Josiah Moon, he best player, Christian Thatcher. Back to pass for Curry. Screen pass set up nicely, but taken down Arbor. Your top players. Yeah, we need skill, your skill guys. No, no doubt about it. Uh, and on first and 10, back to pass is Kearns, and that is out to the big wide receiver, David Washington. And Washington makes him pay with a couple of. A lot of colleges are interested. You know, he's on their radar, has some offers. So I'm excited to see what he can do, not just this week, but as they get into the playoffs. Yeah, the, yeah just can't wait to see his maturation into the college game and then maybe even on to Sundays. Handoff up the middle, that is a gain of, we'll call it two to the. Canyon Springs. Start, it's lose and go home. Third down and eight. Kearns back to throw. He throws over the middle and that is complete and a first down. Extremely accurate throwing the ball. Kearns on the keeper once again. He's got a blocker. Washington out in front and he'll take it inside the 20 for a first down and the helmet pop. Hey, you know, enforcing with our equipment staff. Don't let them put the helmet on like they want to. Put the helmet on. I'm sure we're going to see him get the football several times tonight. And this is Johnson. Up the middle, a big gain. He gets the penalty yardage back. A gain of about 10. I like those shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a backwards pass, and it's going to be a, a setup to be a double pass. He gets it off, and it is complete down the sideline. Out of bounds at the 20-yard line. That was Juice Washington. This play, Kenny, they had two options for Juice. Jaden's the underneath guy, but they had another deeper component, you know, to this play. So I, I like that he had multiple options. Boy, Juice just fought off two. You know, when you don't have to just force feed the ball to one particular player. Juice, I know, was one of their top ground gainers last season. But Nylon Johnson, the freshman, has made an impression on the coaching staff with his burst of speed. And now a new one, Mitt Mitrone is the next quarterback up with great speed. Rolling to his right is Kearns throwing complete. Feel, Kenny, of when to scramble. Okay, you see those opposite color jerseys? So yep. he knows if I scramble. 
Michael Kearns, a senior, fakes the handoff to Johnson, throws the pass outside to Juice Washington, who will carry a defender into the end zone. Touchdown. I didn't think Juice had that gear there. Juice hit a little gear, didn't he? <laughs> yes, he did. Uh, nice job there. Again, Kearns backpedaling on that pass. Good touch, great location by Les Olsen. Great job from an effort standpoint of being in position to recover the fumble. And, you know, one of the hardest plays in football now, Kenny, is when that ball is on the grass. The UPS store red zone at the 16, first and 10. Nyland Johnson takes it up the middle. And this may not be Johnson. They're down to the three. More experience in playing time. Handoff up the middle. This is Johnson. Touchdown, Aggies. Freshman up the middle, five yards, touchdown. And the Aggies off to a quick start here. At, how, to, how, to, how to become a football coach. And that swing pass out to the right side is complete. Out to the 26-yard line. Pursuit Kenny in practice is called pursuit drill. You know, good teams, they take it seriously. Like, look at that. They've got him in a triangle. McCraney takes the snap. He rolls left, throws right. This will be intercepted. The second interception of the night. This time, number 15, Tanner Aiken. You know, even right there, Tanner Aiken drops to a spot, keeps his I'm really impressed. I mean, watch this. He catches it at its highest point. Watch him immediately secure the ball. <laughs> a lot of little yeah. things that get overlooked, especially. At we'll continue to improve as he gets more snaps. First play intercepted. Kurgis pass to the end zone is picked off. That is number 52, Jeremiah Richardson, and he's out to about the 40 for Canyon Springs. Not now. I mean, the stands went to shaking. <laughs> That was a touchdown pass, but Jeremiah Richardson went up and took the football away. A beautiful catch, and then an even maybe better return. And he's only a sophomore, so he's got a couple more seasons here at Canyon Ridge. I would coach him, get that ball secured, but, I mean, what an instinctual play. What an athletic. A lot of size, strength, and speed. Runs a 4-4 for a tight end. Kearns back to pass, scrambles, steps up, but he will not evade the pressure. Canyon Springs pressuring Kearns for at least a play. This is the second time today that his helmet has come off, and all it is is like th the straps aren't secure. Saban, hard-fought game down in Knoxville. Good ball. Nice pass and yeah. catch. McCraney, kick goes wide right, and... The rest is history. McCreary pressured. That ball is, it's either an incomplete pass or right here. As McCraney rolls right, that is a fumble. Yeah, it fell out the back of his hand. Sure I've had did. that happen to me before. Michael Kearns with the swing pass. Out to Jaden Williams, and Williams a big game to the 28. Yes. I, ag I agree, and the, and the best, that's exactly what they do. We've been on stadium. <laughs> And Kearns, another swing pass. This is David Washington, and he takes it in, walks into the end zone. Touchdown, Aggies. And that was a great job at the point of attack, you know, by blocking. You know, wide receivers don't get a lot of credit. Tonight, Yeah. and I'm sure there are plenty of them. He has five touchdowns this year. Look at big Juice Washington. Things timeout. Yeah, I don't know about this one, Coach Q. Review 35, Canyon Springs 0. Sean, the highlights from the first half were mainly the Aggies. Yeah, and it got started on the second play of the game. Michael Kearns, dynamic, explosive senior quarterback for the Arborview offense. And then the defense jumped right into it as Bryce Heckert with the interception return for a touchdown. They've been swarming around. They've been making it real hard for Tyshawn McCraney. But he's still competing. He's making plays. As you saw, Christian Thatcher with the big hit. But, I mean, I like the way that, you know, Canyon Springs is competing. But, man, this Arborview team just has them outgunned. We even got a little Juice Washington. Not the starting running back this year because, as you saw, Nyland Johnson, the true freshman, is making himself known here in Aggie World. Probably the only mistake in the passing game by Michael Kearns in the first half. And this is a great job by Jeremiah Richardson, only a sophomore himself. 
And we didn't see a lot of David Washington, the most hyped offensive player for Arborview, but that was him scoring and getting in the end.